Yo, 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 what up guys, so Flux here, and I do want to say like, what the hell happened to Aurora? Every single time there's a new hero trailer, I just forget about the recent hero that came out. For example, I put a build for her probably the first day she came out, and I just forgot about her ever since she came out, legit, like just forgot about her. But you know what, I don't give a fuck, because your boy hit 3k. Thank you all, honestly, hopefully nudes for everybody, that's my like go-to like thing for right now and I'm fucking around but I do want to say you know thank you guys all especially like everybody that supports me every day in the comments and it's not that you know you can't really grow unless you guys grind out so if you guys are starting a YouTube channel you know why not just go for it you have nothing to lose if anything you know you don't make it you don't make it but I doubt it because you stay grinded stay dedicated and you're gonna make it regardless so thank you guys again honestly I really appreciate it and let's talk about the gameplay so I do love Aurora because her statue ability could do work. What I mean by that is, after I upgrade my cards, you guys would see like when I do the statue ability, it's so damn helpful. Like you could dodge anything. Pretty much if anybody throws a rock at you, for example, Rampage, uh, you could just do that jumping ability, the statue one, and the statue would block it. And it happens so quick. Like the rock could be like touching you, but if you activate that ability, you won't get hit by the rock, which is crazy because you can pretty much deflect anything that goes in your path, especially the towers. And what I mean by tower is you could legit tower dive with her, especially with that ability. So you go in, destroy someone that's in there itching their ass, hiding from you, and you're pretty much just killing it. So right here, I'm just upgrading my card. Don't ask why I'm meleeing the air. I was just seeing how fast or how quick I was actually hitting. So don't ask why, please. So right here, destroying this fucking girl. And at this point, I thought I was going to die. So I did my ult, did the statue ability. And thank God, my ult freezes her because she had her back towards me and I got an easy kill. I can't say easy because I was stressing hard as fuck. I was stressing so much because I left with 30 HP out of that freaking fight for some reason too. I had Sparrow locked up in like the little circle thing. But right here, I had the same exact example though, but I did not lose HP. I just got Houser in such a good position and made sure he couldn't get away from me. And this is the example I was talking about. You can just tower dive with the statue. You jump, and then this guy is shitting bricks. Just look at him. He's shitting bricks. No mana, no HP. Walking and hugging the wall. And I pretty much got gangbanged by the towers. Like I was like, what the fuck is going on? Just leave me alone. So when I go mid, just destroying these minions, I guess, and making sure I could get away. Whoops, they're all fucking me up. And I did not have a chance of getting away. Fuck you, Sevrock, for stunning me. How about that? Because they all made sure I could not get away. Aurora made sure she did the circle around me if she was even there. And I pretty much got fucked. But at this point, I was just going mid, helping out in the team fight. It made sure that my abilities were doing work, trying to help out the Gideons all on my team. And Houser does his ult, and pretty much Aurora does at the same time. So I was just telling Quang to retreat because this whole fucking game... He was doing 1v5 the whole entire game. But, you know, thank God I played it smart, teleported back, and made sure Sevrog could not push this tower. He missed his all and got stuck in my circle ability. And thank God he got an easy kill. He had black buff, so think about it. I was at 60 HP, probably one hit, and that black buff would have killed me. Even if he hit me fucking 10 damage, that black buff would have stacked on and killed me. So. I don't know how the fuck he missed all of his abilities, I guess he's that shitty, but I guess we all encounter people like that, especially the people on my team, cause guess what? Not this game, but the majority of games I always play, fucking people are downies, man, they're horrible. And what I mean by horrible is like, you wish that you fucking had people that could aim straight, fucking walk straight in a straight line in this game, I wish I could encounter people like that, but no, no, I fucking encounter people that fucking can't do circles. All they do is fucking move back and forth in the back spawn, but it's fine, it's fine. I don't want to get to a fucking rant on that again, but it's pretty much upgrading my cards and made sure I upgraded my Rift Hunter and ended up just putting a Micro Nuke right after I fully upgraded that card. So right here, saw Decker, made sure I did my circle, got an easy kill on her, and I made sure I got away. But think about this, guys. Ended up doing my ult, such an easy team fight because I ended up doing my ult, made sure my friend Gideon ended up getting a good ult on everybody because I had him frozen and pretty much got an easy kill on two of them. So that was very smart of us for even doing that all at the same time. It wasn't even like intentionally. 
So at this point though, we are upgrading our micro nukes. The reason why it's because it upgrades crit chance and also 12 damage the second you equip the card, which is great. And so right here, I saw Houser slipping. Thought I could do my circle on him. I couldn't do my circle on him. Thank God he fucking panicked, did his ability on himself, and tossed him back towards me. And we got an easy kill. So what I did there, tell me if that was smart. Like, I think that was fucking smart. Dashed and made sure that I can try to block Houser's, like, missiles from Gideon. So that's exactly what I did, or try to do it so he could not hit Gideon whatsoever. And just fully upgraded my micro news. So what I did was put that blink charm on because just in case situations happen I could use it or I could just get away from the dash ability, blink charm away and even just bounce away with the statue ability. So that's exactly what I was trying to do so I don't die before upgrading my crit bonus. So kill Decker, easy kill and I saw Houser so I was like you know what should I push or should I not push? You know it kept going back and forth but I was like you know what fuck it I'm not because they all were right in front of their mid tower, so I was like, why not? I'm not gonna push. Made sure I killed this fucking Houser. He had no HP at this point, and he got stuck. Like, how the fuck do you get your teammate stuck right between my abilities and the wall? Like, that's so retarded, but I guess that's 2017 for you. So I was just killing every single person in their jungle, and then Sevrog, our boy Sevrog's itching his ass in the jungle. But what I was trying to do here is push their left minions like forward so we could push their tower a lot easier. And then Sparrow came out of nowhere. So what I did was destroyed her life and then pretty much doing the moves on fucking Sevrog. He got juked out and I did my circle. Just tell me what happened here. I just fucking psyched his life out. He's just hitting the air like I don't even know what the fuck happened to him. So pretty much I juked out their whole team and made sure I got away. I ended up actually getting away, but I died like soon right after that. So that pretty much wraps it up because I was trying to defend the core and everybody was dead besides me and I ended up just getting fucked in two seconds. But hopefully you guys do enjoy this. If you guys did, please leave a like. Please subscribe. I'm at fucking 3K. It's nudes for fucking everybody.